Yeah, precision is for nerds. And uh, I guess I'm, I'm trying to become a bit more of a nerd. I was thinking like, what am I going to play? And I didn't really want to start something that was going to be too long term. I had a bit of a browse and there's some ROM hacks this year that I have missed that maybe weren't a high priority. And so I'm just circling back slightly and I'm seeing like what's what's been going on. And so I found Unnamed Precision by Azorio, who I don't know anything about. And it looks like that's their only um, uh, submission. So it's a two exit intermediate, seems short, and it says it's a beginner precision hack. It's meant to be a decent intro into the precision sub-genre, but it's not easy and not meant for beginners. It's 22 single screen rooms over the course of two exits, playing the latest version. No ratings, no comments, you know, title screen, uh, I guess the intro kind of thing, and, you know, spikes spikes and concrete you know what more do you need let us begin it's unnamed precision by zorio not not to be confused with oreo as a poop what that wasn't even a real death block precision is a pretty decent part of kaizo but it overall hasn't gotten a lot of attention i hope to help change that smiley face uh yeah we can actually go down i Probably didn't want to do that. No, back we go. Yoshi's Moon Home. <laughs> Odd that nothing can be seen from here. Oh, also you can save by pressing select on the overworld. Thank you. It's, it's on the moon, yet somehow there is fire and smoke. I don't understand it, but it's fine. Climbing down from the moon. We have common precision, yeah, everyday garden variety precision. Precision is more common in Kaizo than it may seem. This first level will show you some more familiar precision. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, you know what? That actually is kind of tough. Usually when you have those like reverse chuck gates, I think they usually bounce like from a, a lower position. I usually get another tile, maybe. God damn. Yo, Pixel. Thank you for redeeming first. There we go, right. I mean, with the dolphins, you just go under them, right? That's no big a deal. Ah. Uh, you can start, select, to return to the overworld at any time. I appreciate that. Why is... oh, I guess that's why. Oh, I had to do it in one go. Alright, no problem. Oh, that first jump though. Not a, not a big deal. Hello, Earth Melon. Yeah, sure, whatever. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that first one. Maybe exactly what I did. Uh, <laughs> jump onto the slope right in front of the muncher so you have speed going up. Once you've slid past the muncher, jump. God effing damn it, I assume that means. I mean, the thing that isn't explained here is you should never press left or right, only down. If you press left or right while you're trying to do that move, it's going to be a hard one. Some might say impossible. What are we doing? Is this a maybe spin flight? Let's try spin. All right. Oh, look. That's probably the easy way to do that. We don't know if um if the spin... If uh, the, the turnaround is patched, that's what I'm trying to say. Now, forget everything you just did. This hack is mostly block-based. <laughs> Bob. Okay. You have unnamed. Here it is. The main affair. Oh, this jump's going to be a bit harder, isn't it? 
I guess not really. That's fine. Now, uh, you just need speed for that. That's fine. And look, they even give you a little thing to jump into there. How nice of them. Oops. You just run into the wall and jump. You know? This one's a bit a bit tougher though. I mean, I can take it slow. I mean, it is precision. So let's imagine that we take it slightly slow. The other thing as well is, the reason they've got like two concrete blocks at the bottom <clears throat> is so you can have running speed jumping in. Yeah, okay, that's what that is. Kind of jump the wrong way and hook around. Um, run the neutral right before you jump. If you jump but didn't get enough height, you were late. It's frame perfect. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, what is... It's frame perfect. <laughs> to survive that fall between the spikes, you'll need to do one really fast tap off the ledge so you fall almost straight down. Yikes. So we're going to do it without run held. I might need to correct. Just a normal jump. This room seems uh, a bit more chill. It feels very 2002. Look, the they didn't really go overboard on the aesthetics, did they? And that's fine. It's just a fun, a funny little precision hack, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> cool idea. Uh, this isn't too bad. It's just, it's a little bit of waiting. Oh, I guess we're learning the hitbox of a muncher. <laughs> Look, cement rules, dude. You can't, you can't argue against that. Cement is best. Oh, that's right, that automatically goes down. If you want to build a level, I would recommend you use these uh, concrete blocks. A lot of fun. <sighs> you hacking fool! I have been raised on unhealthy berries, my tongue grew improperly. Also, you can't escape this room now. Lamau. <laughs> can't I escape the room? Will Yoshi never, um, will he never poop out a mushroom? I mean, I guess the fact that he grew up with one eight. Um, <laughs> if, he, if we had a mushroom, we could possibly like do a clip, right? Uh, like a, a spin, spin clip. Well, I guess we got to try and do it properly. 
into Shellar and Baron. I remember, I definitely am probably not gonna, definitely probably not gonna play Baron. But into Shellar, I remember that was cool. Ah, uh, help. I think I made a mistake here. So then, wait, so then we can throw him up, climb over with him, and then do a precise fall, and maybe he won't eat that, and then, or could I drop him at that point, maybe, we'll work it out. You see it? Oh boy. I, th I think I'm just supposed to like do it an up throw or something like Yoshi come back Just change my grip slightly Okay All right, Whew. all right now next step I'm up here somewhere. I'm going to drop Yoshi. Uh, I can go all the way down to the left. I can touch the berries. That's fine. If I... Okay, you piece of crap. Get out of my way. I need in. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Just some swimming, dude. It's like, it's fine. The swimming thing, yeah, lucky. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty lucky. It was, it was not as calculated as you might, as some might think. It's like you can down tap like way less than two tiles, but it's really tough. Especially if you have that upward momentum. So like, down, push it. Ugh. I don't know. He's fine. Don't worry. But imagine, imagine if Super Mario World didn't have Yoshi. I don't, I personally wouldn't miss him that much. There we are. It would still be a cool game, but I might not have loved it as much as a kid, maybe. Green beans give you different maximum jump heights depending on where you are on them, but you can control the jump to get lower. It's so true. Max height there. Okay, left. Whew. Um, spin flight again. Yeah, I think we can just spin fly that one. I like how chill the music is actually. Good point. My head was in the death block. Yeah, look, don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, no. I gotta do this fast. Because I don't like to press diagonals. I think this is this is not too bad, honestly. You just gotta be really uh, if you've got a dodgy D-pad, um, this is not good. Oh there we go. It was a timed balloon as well. Uh, hold down to make it through one tile gaps while big. Holding sprint does still increase your speed slightly. Oh boy. Oh, what? Ah. <clears throat> okay. Look, I didn't think about what that was. Um, <laughs> I was like, no, it's, I'll just damage. 
You just fall down onto the muncher and, and take damage, it's fine. What? You can't- dude, what? Brongo? Apparently that's what the kids are saying instead of the word cringe. Because saying cringe... Is, a, is too cringe, so they say Krongo. <laughs> that's what I've learned. That's something I would not know if I wasn't sitting on Twitch.tv. An internet website. Ah, but see, what if Krongo was actually the cringest thing? What about that? Huh? Lush fifty. <laughs> Slippery precision. Take your time. Oh boy. Slippery precision. Take your time, except here when you have to go straight away. Uh, Krongo. <laughs> Krongo, the movie with the gorillas. <laughs> it's the movie where Johnny Depp <laughs> plays the lizard. <laughs> Please. Does that poster exist? Has anyone photoshopped the movie Rango but it says Krongo <laughs> instead? Oh my god. How, how am I meant to do slippery precision? With images like, like that in my head. You weren't expecting that strong a reaction? I don't think I would have either. It hit me just right in the right spot. I don't know if that's worse now I'm thinking about it. I don't know, like, works for me. Down, up. Jump. Aha, uh -huh. the coin means to jump. Alright. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, you gotta grab it in that weird spot. You know that weird spot? <laughs> Where, like, you're riding it higher than you can climb? So, like, if you mount these things while holding up and you hit the top of it, you ride higher than you otherwise can. And that's uh, not a full jump, like the other one. Yeah, precision is for nerds. And uh, I guess I'm, I'm trying to become a bit more of a nerd. Oh, got it. Okay, that's fine, I can ride that. I wonder if you need to ever jump. Yeah, all right. Yeah, if it had dropped off early, or like, what if the line guide off the top of the screen just like did a quick little like up down, just to be a jerk? Oh, oh okay. The, that's bad. Don't jump there. Biggest supporter. Very generous. There we go. The Fuzzy Coaster version 2. Hold down on the D-pad while swimming to swim lower for precise swimming. I don't know how you would have got through the previous swimming section without knowing that, but okay. It's fine. Uh, D-pad, let's go. This is fine, because there's no reason to have to go fast. It really is just slow precise. And there's death down there. I can see a red outline, like there's a red pixel down the bottom. Please don't die at the very last obstacle. Thank you. Yeah, it's pretty chill, for sure. What do, what do I got to do? Do I have to collect all the coins? I think that's the go, isn't it? Just, just get that haulage. <laughs> just in the, just, oh, 
This is just messed up, dude. <laughs> uh, okay, what about this one? Can I just walk? No. What if... Uh... Okay, they're, they're at spin distance from each other. Full spins, no problem. Let's go. Oreos. Uh, sometimes it's better to go slower. Except at that first muncher. <laughs> you need a bit of speed there. Totally, dude. Alright. I would advise, if you're one of those people that uses the white D-pad rubbers from Japan spell, you're not gonna you're not gonna like this level. Like if you if your D pad is very hard to press diagonals with, it's gonna hurt. You won't have a good time. I'm sorry. It's it's cool when you have speed. Honestly, like having that small amount of speed is good because you can actually time like when the jump happens. It's, it's when you have that sort of weird, like, no speed, and you have to... When can you jump out? Oh, I think not holding jump works for this first one. No, I was kidding. I thought it worked one time. Maybe this slow speed? Yeah, at that slow speed, not holding jump, you just kind of smoothly get out of there. Alright, that's fine. Uh, it's more. It's definitely like a, a small jump if I want to actually like make it in the hole. That's like one problem solved for there. Alright, so we get down here. Okay. And then yikes. Kaizo world. Seems fine. I like that you can just kind of jump up. Imagine you put this like in the middle of an actual Kaizo level. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look at some at some stuff here. So, uh, we gotta what? Can't ride on it. We gotta get on there and then like jump out to the left, and land back on it. That looks messed up, dude. Actually, that looks really easy. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, yeah, I just do that. That seems really easy. Like, obviously this is a precision thing, but that move doesn't look too hard. Go to the right. Uh, what if I spin just for fun, huh? Oh, there's no man. I should have died, hundred percent. So that's a running jump for sure. That's a two-frame little tap. Which is easy to do for babies. That last thing sucks. I guess it's not too bad. The other fun thing about this is that the spikes have a black outline and the background is black. So you've got to be slightly more cautious of the of the spikes. You don't see their outline. I don't know if that matters in general, but it's something. All right. 
So yeah, you can just walk out there and then easy baby jump up. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Nice. Why don't we just go up here instead? Hold jump. I feel like that jump is pretty easy. Well, I've got to get at least one of these ones down here. Like, for all I know, you've got to get all of them. Get back here, bro. I need you. Uh... Alright, cool. Just three. Didn't have to worry about the other little thing. That's fine. Thank you again. Let's look at credits. Ooh. Zorio. Thank you for the credits cape. A professional move. Real quick, though. It appears as though turnaround is not patched. Alright. Cool. Baby hack. So much ASM. Play Chon Nom Nom Shoujo. Ah. You know, I've seen the name Zorio around. But I, I didn't know where what circles they were hanging with. Now we know. Shoutouts! Lush50 is there. Damn. There we go. Switch thanks SMW, SMW Central Discord, Shoujo's Discord. And you, Trans Rights of Human Rights. There we go. Shoutouts. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't know, um, Zorio. But, uh, you know, cool hack. I like this. I love the cape at the end as well. I can't, you know what I'm going to do? I'm one, one day I'm just going to sit in like this particular room and just cape out. It's fun. Um... Credits done. That was unnamed precision hack that has two exits, 22 rooms. Some of them were very, very tough. Some of them were very, very trivial. And that's that's all I got to say. I think it was cool though. I hadn't, um, the Yoshi one was super tough. Well, we've done unnamed precision by Zorio. I thought that was fun. That was a little bit of fun. If you're in the mood for sitting in a room for a while, trying to work out stuff, it was cool. The Yoshi room was the hardest. I don't know what the easiest was, but it was generally all right.